hello hello beauties welcome and welcome back to my channel it is nice to have you here once again are you a meat lover yourself just like me but have both vegan and vegetarian friends and when you are having a party for everyone you are struggling to find out that one recipe that will satisfy everyone at the party then look no further in this video i will share with you this my flavorful vegan recipe that will do just that if you're here to learn keep on watching to the end don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you have not subscribed already and let's get started so this is the star of the dish this is called pigeon peas it might not be popular here but it's very very popular where i grew up and it's also popular in west indies i believe in caribbean as well because i buy this from caribbean store or african store so it's not very popular here in north america i live in canada but you can always find these beans trust me so when i'm using the dry one i soak it overnight and then in the morning i wash it out and add new water add salt and cook it um, it doesn't cook very easily unlike a lentil this one takes a little bit of time maybe like an, an hour to cook it but when you're done it is very very flavorful so you can also find the canned one in most grocery store the canned beans the the same beans but the canned version you can find it in most grocery store so let's get cooking like i said you have to add some salt it brings out the taste of these beans this beans is very very delicious so while the beans is cooking I'm going ahead to prep the vegetable that I'll be using for this beautiful delicious recipe I am using uh, four bell pepper you can use more you can use less I like to use bell pepper instead of tomatoes because I, I blend it I chop it not actually blend it it's not finely blended so it, you have you know you want food to look good okay it needs to look good it needs to be appealing to the eye you know for you to want to eat it so I like to use this and um, yeah This is the spring roll that I bought last time. I haven't even opened it. I just put it in the freezer like this. So I'm gonna open it and show you guys. And then the rest of it I will. Okay, let me turn on my spoon. So I'm going to fry. So this is what it comes in. This is how it comes in. So it's about 100 pieces. I want to fry like 50 pieces and this is vegetable spring roll you can see here it says vegetable spring roll and it's about 100 pieces yeah. these are all the things I'm using for making the rice this is curry powder um, plus it's, veg it's vegan veg 
yeah vegan vegetarian rice i'm using vegetable bouillon cube i'm gonna use a little bit of allspice a little bit of cumin uh curry powder sorry not curry powder thyme uh this is uh, red bell peppers and uh some onion that i chopped a while ago so that's all for the rice <clears throat> And also, I'm going to add the beans to the rice. <laughs> so now, let me just start cooking everything. So I am starting to build the base, the flavorful base for the rice, starting with onion, chopped white onion. You can use red onion, but uh, you need to give time to slowly, slowly build the flavor. So I am adding all the spices after the onion has cooked a little bit, uh, translucent, I add thyme. I'm adding a little bit of cumin, I'm adding allspice, I'm adding everything into the oil because you want to develop the oil. Once the oil is flavorful, your food will be flavorful, okay? So you slowly, uh, there's no rush in cooking. Cooking is, you know, you have to be ready to cook. <laughs> this is not a microwave food. This is a slow cooking for those that you love okay you're cooking this for those that you love so why i'm building the flavor i am going ahead well i already started frying the spring roll i'm taking out the first batch and then i'll add more batches i forgot not that i forgot actually i have my camera rolling i thought that the camera was rolling throughout the time but at some time it stopped recording so when i get to the place where i stop recording i will do a voiceover again to explain especially when i was adding everything into the rice but you're going to have the recipe the full recipe in case if you're curious and you want to learn so i'm adding a bouillon cube this is vegetable bouillon cube you need it you can also use um vegetable broth uh, but I prefer to use this uh, bouillon cube. I'm adding some more spices. So this is curry powder that I'm adding. And I'll keep on stirring and giving it time until when I think that, you know, the flavor base is good enough, which you can see here. Uh, later on, uh, before I cook the rice, I will scoop out the allspice because you don't want somebody to mistakenly eat the allspice it's very very flavorful it gives a good flavor to your food but you do not want to bite into it because it tastes bitter so i've gone ahead to add the red pepper i'm going to let it continue to cook on a slow heat until to my desired taste until it get you will see okay okay all right <laughs> we're here already so you keep on cooking on a slow heat until you see the oil is floating then you know it's ready it's just like making a stew but i'm using only bell pepper instead of you know tomatoes and bell pepper mixed together all right so after the flavor base was developed this is why i thought that my camera was rolling but it has stopped so what i added here is just parboiled rice um, and uh, the beans and I also added some vegetable. If you watch my grocery haul, the vegetable that I bought is just carrot and peas, frozen carrot and peas. I added all of that and made sure there is enough salt. The seasoning is good, it's well seasoned. So I'm going back to add 
the allspice i'm going to leave it just on top here so that when the food is done cooking i'll be able to scoop it out before i stir everything together again you do not want your friends and family to bite neither yourself to bite into allspice it is very very flavorful in food but it's not good when you eat it so i'm adding bay leaf as well and then that will be all we'll cover it and let it cook slowly well uh, on medium heat you don't want it to burn that's basically what i'm trying to say you don't want to put it on high heat and then it will burn yeah and here we're done it's done cooking and this is what it's looking like are you enjoying this video but have not given it a thumbs up nor have you subscribed to my channel if you have watched up to this point i want to say thank you thank you very much for watching up to this point but remember don't forget to subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up leave your comment in the comment section for me what do you like about this video which part is your favorite part and uh, will you try this recipe will you give this recipe a try let me know all of that in the comment section